Photoshop comes with an amazingly powerful spiral pattern design tool. You can create all kinds of designs. This is just purely a single triangle and it's been turned into a very weird abstract spiral design, all kinds of distortions, etc. Of course, I've used a few filters as well, but it started from a basic triangle. Now this is in Photoshop 2021, also for 220, 219, etc. New document, and I'm gonna create a fairly small, just with the pen tool, gonna to go with fill, shape, just create this design now this is going to be on a layer what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the background as well so go to layers because on transparency spiral patterns work great with transparency also go to the rectangular marquee tool in the tools and just select that area there now just go to edit and define the pattern so what that does puts it into the presets so it's stored away as a pattern preset which you can now use with the spiral pattern in the fill command so let's go back to the other document and I'm going to empty that now I don't want the pattern to fill the entire design I just want to create a selection I just want it in a very very well a circular design so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to create a layer I want it on a layer makes it easy so layer and a new layer so I've got a new layer and I'm going to fill that layer with white. So just go again over to there, but this time elliptical marquee tool. And now simply go to edit and fill because I want something in it. So white. And I could, of course, copied it and pasted just as easy. So you got that. And now I'm going to fill it with the spiral. So edit and go down to fill. And what you can see, you've got contents, you've got pattern. So select the pattern, go to the pattern that you've just created, just there, just this one, and go for script and set it to spiral. Loads of other ones, random fill, brilliant. Place among long path, brilliant. And also symmetry fill, I love symmetry fill. But spiral, super useful as well. So click OK. And now you can do design. However, there's an issue with this. The pattern preview never, I don't think, ever matches the end result. Bit of trial and error sometimes. I've got scale here, 0.1. So I've got very, very small. That's as low as you can get. Ring spacing doesn't seem to have much of an effect particularly. Pattern spacing, much more useful. Just set that and I'm going to go with this and just do a quick trial and error. Click OK. Now you can see the problem. It filled it massively like that. I'm going to go with minus eight. I know it seems slightly odd <laughs> having a pattern spacing of minus eight. However, that seems to work. So I'm just going to click OK now. And that's so 45 for that doesn't particularly matter. And pattern scale 0.1. Click OK. And you've got your design there. Quite a, an intense spiral. It's, you can see as well. The only issue with the spiral, I think, is the central bit. It always creates a slight, slight imperfection at the centre. But you really can't notice it, sort of. OK, now go to select and deselect. I don't want the selection anymore. So I can move that design around. What I can also do, I can go to layer and I can go to smart objects and convert it to smart object. Makes it easier because as a smart object, I can change my mind. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to filter and down to liquify. And now in liquify, I'm going to go over here to, well, you can use some of the other tools, but I'm going with the forward warp tool unusual name always and also you can just vary the size but I'm just going to distort it you can push it too far and it will look not so great but I, I think to a reasonable degree you just distort it like that and you can get a real nice distortion there and you can of course push it in you can just obviously use the other tools as well but I'm just going to go with this one and now just click OK and you've got your design and then you can duplicate it. And of course, as you duplicate it, you can fill the entire screen with your distorted design. And of course, the thing is, the liquify is a smart filter. You can change the smart filter. You can go and change it. You can go and alter it, modify all these things. Maybe change the color. Everything else can be changed. It's still a live effect. Though, of course, 
the uh, fill and spiral is not. Unfortunately, that would be really great if it was, but it's not. And you can continue to fill this with your design. So you can see a simple triangle and you can create the most unusual designs very quick and easy. And of course, you can also create very basic designs as well. It doesn't have to be sort of a ball like this. It can be far more basic spiral design. But let's say it does require a little bit of trial and error. Not much, just changes pattern spacing, just subtle, just minus five or minus four, minus 18, minus 17, and then you will get the perfect spiral. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. Also, please put some comments. Always appreciate how do you use the spiral tool? Have you used the spiral tool? Have you thought about the spiral tool? Does it work for you, the spiral tool? All those sort of questions, major questions that the world really needs answering. So please put some comments. Also, a like or dislike, always appreciated. It's great if you sort of let me know what I'm doing wrong. All right, hopefully. Bye.